Hi right, folks, Corky Duke here, Palmer Cruz, the game, and Philadelphia Eagles is the name. I'm, so, I'm laughing all something I saw on Facebook. <laughs> it's, and I'm getting a kick out of it. Okay, um, here we are, back to the 13th mission. Is this going to be an Olbia Tuffy? Yeah, it looks like it is. All right, gentlemen, the target for today is Olbia. Now, I've had a lot of bad luck with Olbia, especially lately, so hopefully we can get through this mission alive. So far, I'm on track to having no casualties in this campaign. And actually, no crash landings. I haven't had any of those yet. Hopefully, we can continue that. Good luck. Uh, sometimes, the stuff you see on Facebook is just... It wasn't meant to be funny, but my comment made it funny. Especially when you try to glorize something that, that was trying to be glorized. And I wasn't the only one commenting like that either, so. That's it. Keep shooting them down, boys. Doing good. Ooh. Went up in a big ball of fire. Okay, we're getting close. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. All right. Come on, ball turret gunner. Come on, ball turret gunner. Take a picture of this torpedo boat, sink it, selfie, sinky, and then get the heck out of here. All righty, we're heading home.
All right, that's it. Keep going. Keep shooting them down. There we go. Ah. There we go. Right, let's get home. In one piece. parachute. Gonna have to look at getting one. Actually a whole bomber full of nine parachutes would be wonderful. Holy cow. Look at that. Yeah. Got one. Got our number three engine though. Holy cow. That damn 262 is taking out my engines. My odd engines are gone. And Come on now. All right, tail gunner, you gotta take him down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get your guns on him. Come on. There we go, there we go. out this this is what happens when you go to Olbia every freaking time y'all I'm not gonna tangle with those guys I'm gonna they're out of they can't reach me so I'm just gonna try and get home limp home I don't have a parachute so I'm not gonna risk my engineer going out there repairing it repairing the engines I'll have to do it if I lose one more engine. I don't want to try and get home with only one engine. All right. We're almost home. So, wow. I think they're disengaging so we're good to go hey we survived and we got our landing gear the engines are irrelevant at this moment let's check on the fuel status I'm sure it's low yeah all right there we go This would be the realistic version of it not being able to repair the engines, which is ridiculous. You're not going to be able to repair the engines. You're not going to have the tools on the plane to repair them. It's all about weight. The tools are extra weight that you don't need. So there's no tools on the plane to repair the engine or any other part. Electrical department, nothing. There's no tools on it. You need all the weight for bombs and ammo. 
the more ammo you got, the less bombs you can put on. The farther away the target is, they would reduce the amount of bombs to increase the amount of fuel they would need. And they had this all figured out. The shorter the, the target was, the, they would increase the bombs and reduce, reduce the fuel. So it was all about weight. You don't have any weight to put tools on your on board your plane. It's just, it's just not possible. You know, especially the 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 mechanic skill you would need to repair the engine, and then the possibility of trying to repair it while you're going almost 300 miles an hour at 30,000 feet. But yeah, I guess that's a nice idea and simulation. I guess so. But I don't know. I would have done it without it if I was designing the game. It makes it more exciting. You know, you're coming home on two engines. You got no way of repairing them. You got to protect those remaining two engines. But we made it. All right, where are we going for mission 14? We will find out. We got to do some upgrades and we need to get another ace. We only got one ace. Fuselage. Not ready for three yet. We need the nose upgraded. And maybe we can look at. Gear, ah. No, nah, we don't need that. Okay, he's got other flying helmet. He needs his plum soles. He needs plum soles. And he needs the headgear, leather flying helmet too, and the plum soles. And that'll be about it. Put the headgear on him. The flying helmet too, and then that'll leave us with $55. All right, I'm Corky. What? Oh, we got another mission. 14. Yeah, we need to do Monserato. All right. Get us that enemy damage down for the next two missions. That's the only reason we're hitting this for the fourth time. But hey, I'm glad to survive uh, Olbia. Just glad for that. So far, no casualties, no crash landing. So we're still working on a perfect campaign, which I've never had. I've had campaigns where I've never lost, where I haven't lost any crew members. I've never had a perfect campaign where I haven't lost any crew members and no, no crash landings. I've always had crash landings. Sometimes several crash landings, like the last Dolphins campaign had several crash landings. So we don't want to lose our landing gear, basically. That's what it's about. If we can make it without losing our landing gear, we'll be good to go. In the clouds, look at that, pretty clouds. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Good shooting. Good shooting, guys. Oh, excellent. Excellent shooting. Look at that. Got him before he could turn around and make another pass at us. The sky fills with black.
Beautiful. All right. Bombs away. this thing home. better. No crew injuries. Nothing just um, damaged. Just fly home. That's it. That's it. Take him down, boys. Ooh, look at that. That's a view I very seldom get. Especially this close. Reloading at the wrong time. Come on, come on, there we go. Mercy. Boy am I glad the B-17 could take a lot of damage. We're gonna we're gonna try and take some of these fighters out. We're in good shape before we land. There we go, we got one. Come on. Come on, tail. Come on, ball turret. Man, what took you so long? All right. Took out a bunch of these guys. Come on, come on, come on. More. There's more to take out. Oh, beautiful. Want to take him out, too? That would be great. We did. Outstanding. I think we took all of them out. That was awesome. All right, oops. Okay. Well, where are you going with that? What are you going with a navigation point? Come on. God. After playing this game for two years, there's some things about this game that just drive me crazy. The B-17 Happy Dance would be number one on my list. Apparently John and Dave never saw B-17 land in their life. I know I must have said that a hundred times already. I've seen one land several times. On, on video, I've never seen a real one land. But I've seen them land on video. Well, they had cameras in World War II. They did. Perfect timing. Electrical system goes down right when we land. I like it. Okay, that was, yeah, that was mission 14. So that was missions 13 and 14. And can we do the upgrade? Oh, good. We got call Mustangs. Yes. 
Finally. We got mild ahead yet. Um, yeah. And continue with the gear. You gotta get the gear. You gotta get the guys up to gear. Okay, so he needs plum soles. He needs headgear. Leather helmet flying too. Flying leather flying helmet mark two, leather flying helmet two doesn't doesn't register. All right, we're almost we're almost got these guys geared up, except for the survival vest that'll be coming. And oh oh, you got to be kidding me! Ah. Uh -huh. Fifteen dollars short. Oh boy. Once you just know it. Alright. Well, I'm Corky Duke. CorkyDuke.com is my website. Like, comment, share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. There's a 13th and 14th mission of Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, like, uh, thanks for watching in my live stream. I'm shooting for five. It may not make it because it looks like I'm going to be running behind. But so it'll be sometime between five and seven. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Y'all take care. Bye.